Hello everyone after so long. I made this video last year and now recording the audio for it. I was too lazy sorry. So people have been asking me for so long and they still do like how to make the animated border lines on stream artwork. So I made it but never completed it. For that like they like these. Uh, for that make sure you have seen my other videos like how to add the glow how to combine all artwork into one and uh, about the fake split because I will be to the point for that what you need to do is open your after effects and drag your artwork middle into it now drag it to the timeline right click and choose composition settings from here you can change the duration of your animation I have chosen 10 seconds which is good enough select ok now what you need to do is select rectangle shape from top make sure the layer is not selected then click fill should be off and choose your stroke color and size we can change it later on now make rectangle on the middle part you don't have to be perfect uh, you should know the size of middle is around 406 pixels and height can be anything and both sides are around 100 pixels in width so now go to the layer and press u two times and click it yeah and go to rectangle one path unlink it and change the size my height is around 678 pixels so i will make rectangle a little bit less around 675 and width around 402 and check will i will use the arrows to move the rectangle up and down or sideways to make it perfect now now open layer and go to add you can zoom in and out to see yeah now open the layer and go to add and select trim paths open trim paths and go to zero seconds in the timeline zero seconds the start size will determine what size you want your border line to be this is size. now just open the stopwatch of offset go to the end of your timeline and your animation yes and make it 360 degrees it means one rotation and it's done now you can perfect it by changing size of your shape or stroke I will make it much smaller in width so already done now what you need to do is just click the layer and press ctrl and d to duplicate the layer, layer. press u two times and change the width to around 96 pixels, pixels. and move it to the side with the arrows now we won't make the animation same cause it doesn't look good so we will make it just random go to trim path and also change the start length In offset go towards the end of the timeline near last keyframe and change the value to minus so it will it will move uh, it in anti-clockwise direction and now see it's moving in different direction and the size is different than the first one now just do the same for the third layer and change the offset to make it look different or any way you want minus 2 means 
if I change the offset to like minus 2 it means in 10 seconds it will complete two rotations and will be like much faster so after changing the offset it's done see it is much faster than the other two ones now just select all the three layers and pre-comp them right click pre-comp or ctrl shift c to pre-comp and go to effects choose the glow and drag it and play with the settings now you are done with it second way i will tell you is by using the saber plugin i have a video on it always check my description for the second way you have to right click and make a new solid layer black color search for the saber effect and drag the black drag on black solid like this press t and make opacity to low so we can see the background this time we need to see the background click on black solid and then choose now this time you have to click and then choose the rectangle to make a mask do the same in this to change the side of rectangle mask select move tool and double click on any point and then you can change the size see you can now change the size now go to the customize score and select layer mask it doesn't look good so we will play with the settings first of all you need to choose your favorite preset I'm just making the core size and all that now choose the preset and inferno no it doesn't look good so maybe let's yeah try neon it's looking good this looks cool um, alt on the anchor point tool to bring it in the center now just go to zero seconds and this time make the start offset to around 30 or 40 and open the mask evolution stopwatch and do the same like go to the end and do the same 360 for one rotation or anything you want make opacity back to 100 and change mode from normal to screen now you can see the, your background and the line moving that's it now play with the settings of this effect to change the size you can just press M and, and click on mask and then double click on any point like I told you now drag it down and just make it look good according to your background zoom with the mouse scroll wheel to see clearly now just you will do the same like duplicate and just keep playing with the settings until you are satisfied now yeah this looks good enough i'm just playing with the settings changing the start offset now we will do the same like just duplicating the black solid layer and changing the mask size according to the middle area of our of our artwork just duplicate and change the size of the mask by double clicking any point and do the settings according to your need i will just leave it now just double click and expand it according to your and use mouse wheel to zoom i will just skip it uh, you can see like on the right it's not showing because the size is too big so just lower it now there's another thing we can do is like some people want these animated lines on their logo in middle which i will show you in another video but if you are at good at good at pen tool you can do this like instead of choosing rectangle option choose pen tool and just trace your logo and do the same with settings mask evolution and start offset uh, thank you for watching you can give me some love by liking the video or on steep
and comment down below if you have any suggestions or questions uh, thank you for watching